So if solar power is the cheapest energy in human history, why isn't it everywhere? Um, because it's intermittent. The sun doesn't always shine, remember? Actually, no, it's because solar power is cheaper, but also less profitable. It turns out that waiting for clean energy to get cheaper didn't work. Fossil fuels are more expensive for the end consumers, you know, the people who drive cars and heat our houses with them. But according to this book by economist and geographer Brett Christophers, the economy doesn't actually care about us. It cares about, that's right, shareholder profits. Renewable energy can be profitable, but with only a profit margin of five to 8%. And energy investors, oil investors, usually refuse to go in on anything lower than 15% returns because literally why would you ever put your money into clean energy when you could put it into a planet destroying money printer? One analyst at the US Treasury says that, quote, there is a sizable universe of good clean energy projects that fall just below many private investors' desired rate of return. They're just not profitable enough to build. And that's why oil companies like BP are not even pretending to invest in clean energy anymore. As Rex Tillerson put it when a Catholic priest asked his company to switch to clean energy, we choose not to lose money on purpose. So can the market solve climate change? Probably not. A cheap and abundant energy source is somehow just not worth it for private investors.